Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris. This episode we are going to finally build up our fleet to a point where I think we can take on Shard and I think we might consider um, uh, preparing for war with the Mythfell Order, the Coalition, and the Sander and Authority. Um, it's going to really hinge on the fact if we can hire these people to raid the Mythfell Order. Um, and maybe we'll go ahead and fortify one of these uh, star stations. Um, like in Sysmok, we can build a bunch of defense platforms and hopefully we can leave that relatively unguarded. Um, but we'll have to see. Um, first things first, uh, let's go ahead and check our planets. Um, make sure we have jobs available on all of our planets. Looks like we need more jobs on our home world. I um, think we're gonna build a mining district to keep up on our minerals because I think those can suffer in the late game if we're not proactive about gaining more minerals, especially since we're not going for a large territorial expanse in our empire. We really need to hinge on our planets producing the minerals. Um, we can build another city district because really I think on our home world we want to focus on building these administrative offices. And I'm not going to upgrade until we use all of our building slots. Um, the Sadia is looking all right. We could use more housing though. This is our generator world. Um, and since we're gonna build a whole bunch of more ships, I think we're gonna use a lot of energy. So let's go ahead and build a new generator district. On Ultan, this is one of our factory worlds. We have three jobs, six housing. That's gonna be looking good for the remainder of the episode, I would think. 7% um, crime, that's something to note. We might consider getting some more governors in uh, to govern some of these worlds. Um, on a Gaia world too. I would have think there was enough happiness on a Gaia world to prevent that crime. Um, anyways, on our tech world, uh, New Favaria, we have a open job. Um, we already have gene clinics in our Autochthon monuments, so I think for the rest of our building slots here, um, if we don't need any more amenities, we're going to be using building slots and city districts. Um, I mean research labs and city districts. Gruner Prime, we're building the new bowl life seeding project. Um, after that, I think we can make this into... Well, we'll, we'll determine what we want it to be in a second. Uh, for the time being... For the time being, the society research from jobs was 20% almost makes me almost makes me want to use this as a tech world, but we'll see. Fortalia, our agri world, has one available job. Um, we can build another farming district. 32 food. Yeah, we're going to need to keep up on that before it gets too low. Our forge world, we're going to build a whole bunch of new um, fleets. Uh, so we want to make sure we keep enough jobs in here, but we already have four available jobs, so we're going to leave that world be for the time being. Six available jobs, eight available housing. We don't need to do anything on Droid Tandir either. All right, second order of business. Um, let's go ahead, let's go into our fleet manager, and let's redesign our fleet. So we're going to take on Shard first. So we're going to leave our Hunter class Corvettes. Um, and I think... We're going to go all lasers. Um, our armor is a little bit better than shields, so I'm happy going two armors, one shield. Afterburners is great on Corvettes. We're using a swarm computer. I think that's great. Um, yeah, I think we're maxed out on everything here. Um, okay, so our Corvettes are looking great. That's going to be the bulk of our fleet. Um, I don't really want to use frigates anymore because I prefer to put my torpedoes on cruisers. Um, so. We're gonna have our Corvettes kind of providing a screen. Um, and eventually I wanna get disruptors on them, but for now lasers will do. Um, we'll use our cruisers as kind of brawlers. So we're gonna choose a torpedo bow, torpedo core, and for the three utility stop slots, we will use a gunship stern. Um, we're gonna fill this up with torpedo, 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 and all the small slots. Um, we really want our torpedoes to hit, so we're going to fill these up with missiles. Um, my thinking being that if they do have point defense, those point defense might be wasted um, blocking against a missile instead of a torpedo. So we're just going to kind of try to overlog, overload their point defense. We're going to use a picket computer on these. 
Um, and that picket computer is going to have, or no, a torpedo computer. A torpedo is going to have them, um, explosive weapons damage plus 5%, which is going to be great for this ship. And it's going to have them come up real close, close range, close quarters. Um, so this is going to be our brawler class carriers. Um, and we are going to... Oops. I think we're going to go about half and half shields and armor here. All right. We can save this, make sure we have everything. Yep. Combat computer. Okay, so we have brawler class cruisers. Um, it might be worth getting some hangar class cruisers as well. So let's go ahead and let's generate a new design for a cruiser. And we're going to put a... Um, no, we want a hangar. So let's go ahead and let's do a large weapon. Let's use a hangar core. And we can use a broadside stern. Um, so this is going to be a more of a heavy hitter. So we're going to do lasers in these weapons. Um, this medium laser might not be engaged because it has a little bit of a lower range. But in this core, we have point defense. We're going to put point defense and flak in there. And we're going to put basic strike craft in. And again, we're just going to do well-balanced shields and armor. And here, um, well, we might as well do afterburners because we don't have need for a reactor booster. Um, we're going to choose... Carrier... Probably. These lasers might not get much use if we keep it in carrier mode. So I think we're going to take it to artillery um, so we can engage some of these other weapons a little bit more. We can change, we'll get, we'll get carrier battleships once we research them, but for the time now, for the time being, we're going to call these carrier class cruisers and we're going to have, yeah, artillery weapons range is probably fine. Um, okay. So. We have our brawler cruisers, we have our carrier cruisers. Um, destroyers, I think we are going to use mostly as PD. And we're not going to have a lot of destroyers if we can help it. They're one of my least favorite ship types. Um, so we'll have a picket ship bow, a picket ship stern, and um, we are going to have One flak, two point defense, and I think we're going to use either missiles or lasers. Um, and to kind of complement our torpedoes, I think we're going to use missiles here. Um, we're going to give it a picket. Yes, that's going to give it bonus to tracking and fire rate. Um, and we're going to give it one, two. Three of those and three of those. All right, and here we can give it afterburners, which is important for picket ships so they can get up close real fast. Um, and we're gonna call this picket class destroyers. Okay. So let's look at our fleet composition right now as it stands. Fleet management. We currently have 15 destroyers and 20 corvettes. I don't think we need a full 15 picket destroyers. Excuse me. I don't think we need a full 15 destroyers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have 10 destroyers in each fleet. And I'm going to go ahead and where's the option to transfer ships? We're gonna transfer one, two, three, four, five destroyers to a new fleet. So if I look at my fleet management, I can take destroyers down to 10. We'll have 20 corvettes and we're going to retrofit this corvette with, no, we're going to keep it with the hunter class. Yeah, that's fine. 
um, we're going to retrofit this with picket class destroyers. And then we're going to add ships, we're going to add carriers, we're going to have brawlers. Um, we want to have... I think that works having five brawlers and two carriers. Um, and we can make up the difference with a couple extra corvettes. Okay, um, that's fantastic. Let's copy this template into a new fleet. No, we already have a new fleet that we put our destroyers into. So let's take this up to 10. We're gonna retrofit this with picket class destroyers. We're going to add hunter class corvettes. We're gonna add 22 of them. And then we're gonna add cruisers and carriers. And we're gonna add five cruisers and two carriers. Okay, so we have all our fleets. We'll have this, and I think we have a construction ship on the way to upgrade our MSI warship. Great, we have three fleets now. Um, we're looking a lot better. So first of all, let's give this the upgrade order. Let's give this star fleet the upgrade order as well. And then we will reinforce fleets, starting with our larger fleet. Okay, we're unpausing the game. Sorry if that was a long intro. The Alliance of Hardshell Harbor just subjugated the Ethereum state. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, good thing we're friendly with them. They seem to be doing pretty well. Well, we can take um, buildings. Districts have their build cost reduced by 10% and build speed increased by 25%. Okay, that's going to be great. This is going to give us additional housing once we get this, um, which will also be great. The Senate is now in session. Wasteland radiation. The radiation levels in some wasteland regions of Gruner Prime appear to be greater than our previous scans had indicated. Colonists in several local sediments have complained poor health and birth rates are down. We are taking steps to evacuate the affected regions, but these measures will take time. All right, this is going to decrease their happiness for 10 years, but we are in the process of terraforming it into a Gaia world, so that's not going to be a problem for too long. All right. Ships upgraded. So our ships have been fully upgraded and we can click the reinforce button. Looks like we're going to need some more alloys. The coalition of Panic Sala Prima is no longer a valid rival for our empire, probably because we've become too powerful. Um, that's what I like to hear. We're going to go ahead and sell off some of our... Um, excess goods that we don't need and we're going to use that to buy a whole bunch of extra alloys so we have 2.2k alloys let's make sure we reinforce this fleet to full strength complete encounter and raw tree where's raw tree all right let's go ahead and let's assign one of our envoys Um, okay. Valtry is right here. It's the Andoran Archivists. Okay. Must be some kind of a space fauna. Ships upgraded. We're going to take this flight, this starship, our Revenge Starfleet, and we're going to give this the reinforced fleet action as well. All right, this is already up to 9.3k power, this one fleet. Um, yeah, I think we're doing fairly well for ourselves here. Resource storage full, minor artifacts and influence. Is there anything we can do with our minor artifacts? It's probably worth looking into. I think that's in discoveries. This will give us xenophobe ethics attraction. We don't really need that. We can sell. 50 of them to get 500 energy, but that's not that great. All right, this is a planetary decision that costs five, costs 100. All right, 
Let's see if we can do this on Favaria. Decisions. Send artifacts to museum exhibits. Bureaucrat output plus 20%. This is perfect for this city. Uh, for this colony because we're mostly bureaucrats. All right. I think we can go ahead and we can def uh, design a uh, our defense platforms. Our defense platforms are right now they're coil guns. I think we're going to have. Um, is there no hangar option? Oh, there is. Okay, I think we're gonna have a hangar, and I think we're going to have. Hmm. We're gonna have some medium, some medium slots. We're gonna add basic strike craft in, and then we're gonna add coil guns and blue lasers. And I think that'll be just fine. Um, we don't really need to add any of those in. Um, we can leave our game unpaused. We're gonna add the deflectors and. Steel armor. Derelict space station. A small team from our colony on Gruner Prime recently boarded a primitive space station that had been left in orbit by the planet's original inhabitants. The mummified remains of the station's crew could still be found clustered around the viewports facing the planet. Interesting. The Gruner left a space station in orbit. Um, they must have realized they were doomed after seeing the billowing mushroom clouds below, and communication log shows that the astronauts made several futile and increasingly frantic attempts to contact the surface before they eventually ran out of supplies. Wow, you wouldn't want to be stuck in space when all that's going down. You could just see it from above and know that you're never going home. The station is in good condition and it has afforded our engineers a rare glimpse of the early stages of a planetary space program. They have gained several ideas from the primitive yet ingenious solutions used in the station's design. Intriguing. Doesn't really make sense because the Gruner were supposed to be already pretty advanced, but we're going with it. Okay, this is going to be our defense platforms. Um, sure. I think the one weakness of this defense platform will be getting swarmed by a bunch of corvettes, but um, we'll deal with it. Shuttle crash on Zatar 2. During a clandestine mission to the surface of Zatar 2, one of our shuttles was, inter was intercepted by a squadron of atmospheric fighters belonging to an unidentified mind. A lucky missile hit the disabled sh uh, shuttle's engines and it crashed into a remote wilderness. We need to act fast if we are to evacuate any survivors before the pre-FTLs reach the crash site. All evidence of our presence must be removed. All right. So we can take this special project. Log updated. Scientists present. We need one science ship in orbit. And we need a scientist on the science ship. Um, okay. So we're going to go ahead and pull our... Um, we're going to go ahead and pull Zosira Katoon off for a moment to go ahead and research this project and then we're going to put them back to uh, put her back into governing her world where's our construction ship that's supposed to be um upgrading the flagship okay i think we're just about we're just about there Okay, we're upgrading the flagship as well. This is all going very well. All right, first contact event is pending. We have discovered a new life form in Raltree. Although calling it a life form may be incorrect, the entities appear to be fully automated mechanical drones built exclusively for some unknown industrial purpose. Observations will continue, but since it's likely that these machines are programmed with defense protocols, it should be prudent to tread lightly. Keep at it. All right, our terraforming specialists are pleased to report that the terraforming process on Gruner Prime has completed. The planet has been successfully terraformed into a Gaia world, owing to our deployment of laboratory-created plant hybrids, carefully selected 
segments of both genetic code. Once again, as a result of this process itself not quite fully understood by our geneticists, a number of new bull populations have appeared on planet side emerging when terraforming neared completion. All right, Gruner Prime, welcome. We're going to build a city district, and then after that, we're going to build a gene clinic. One of our leaders, our Minister of State, can um, upgrade. We can give Pop Upkeep and Trade Value as a counselor. Or we can give Specialist Pop Resource Output, Pop Amenities Usage minus 10%. I think as a counselor, we're going to give the Pop Upkeep and Trade Value. Trade. Okay, and Sysmok, we're going to go ahead and we're going to... You know, we don't have enough alloys to start building defense stations there, but that's okay. Because we have our fleets. Let's see, we're 40% of the way to completing that project. 11.8k, 5.9k. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to take on Shard once we get these two fleets up and running. In fact, we need some more alloys. Perhaps we can sell off 5,000 more food, maybe 1,000 minerals, maybe 1,000 consumer goods. See how many more of these can we afford to buy? 500 more alloys? See what that gets Special us. Project complete. Operatives rescued on Zatar 2. Operatives from the ISS to team in managed to uh, evacuate several survivors from the crash shuttle on Zatar 2. The remaining debris was destroyed in a controlled explosion, leaving nothing but a small crater for the pre-FTLs to find. The collective consciousness where the incident occurred will no doubt blame its neighbors for the border violation, but hopefully the disruption to their natural development will prove minimal. All right, good to know. We're gonna take the scientists and we're gonna go and put them back to governing Fortalia. Alright, this construction ship needs orders. Do we have any more resources that we can exploit? I do not think so. How are we doing on the cooldown here? 113 more days. So I'm going to go ahead and queue up a um, colony ship here. And we're going to go ahead and colonize Sysmok 2. How is the tar doing, by the way? They Received have high complete. awareness of us and they're in the atomic age. Okay, it soon we'll have contact with them. All right, we research markets, analysis, algorithms, and let's see what our options are. We can get more envoys and research speed. We can get plasma throwers. We can get research alternatives. We can get cloaking field generators. Um, hmm. I say we get the energy grid. That'll be good for our energy world. We need to unlock um, harvesting zero. I guess we need to research psionic theory for that, which is not a given. All right. Relic activation available. Let's go ahead and let's activate it. We can level up our Tribune of Rights. We can give Let's see. What is she currently doing right now? She's governing Korim, which is our forge world. So we can give metallurgist upkeep and artisan upkeep minus 5%. That's actually super good for a forge world. Consumer goods from jobs, not so good for a forge world. So we're going to give distribution manager. All right. We are above our naval capacity, but that's okay. We need to recruit some governors, uh, not some governors, some commanders. So let's see what our options are. We can get ship hull points plus 15%. Mm, orbital bombardment, pop damage, not so important. Ship's weapon range, that's actually really good. Okay, I think we're gonna take Toki 
And I think our second one is going to be ship hull points plus 15%. All right. And we can upgrade these both. We're going to give, let's see, aggressiveness gives us fire rate plus 5%, which is pretty good. Yeah. Ship fire rate plus 5%, ship's weapons damage. Yeah. Aggressiveness is really good. Let's see what we can upgrade this commander with. Prudence would give us weapons range, which is also pretty good. Yeah, let's give Prudence to... Let's give them Resilience so this general lasts for longer. All right. Special project complete. We finished upgrading our flagship. Which now has a power of 7.2k. Or no, 9.3k. Okay. I'm really tempted to go after Shard. But um, I really want to get this Revenge Starfleet up first. Reports of the deep space drones previously encountered have been investigated closer. The drones appear to be the workers and custodians of an autonomous orbital mining operation established millennia ago and then soon abandoned by all the drones themselves, judging by the state of the processing equipment. The drones have powerful mining lasers that make them obviously threatening, if not outright hostile. Overtures towards Valdari vessels when approached. They may be all they may be old drones, but they should Council be kept under close available. watch by the Favarian Republic. An alien all empire right. has established communications. We can get one additional housing from our city districts, and completing the prosperity tree gives us station upkeep minus 10% and an additional ascension perk. Um looks like we have the ability now. If we want to, to go for uh, mind over matter, the flesh is weak, engineered evolution, evolution, synthetic evolution. So this gives us uh, the option to go into cybernetics and create cyborgs. This gives us the ability to genetically modify our species, and this will give us the ability to use psionics. Um, uh, our KO engineers would be great, but I don't think our income of minor artifacts is really enough to outfit our ships with many of these weapons. So I don't know if that's going to be super good for us right away. Um, I'd actually like to delve deep into the psionics and see where that takes us. Um, I haven't done much psionics. Um, I've started it, but I've never really gotten to see where see where this story goes. Psionics is basically, if you've ever read the book Dune, or I guess if you watch the movie, it's kind of like supernatural, almost like magical powers. All right. So let's go ahead and let's colonize Sysmok 2. Yes, and we're gonna call this... Situation log updated. We're gonna call this... Level core, sure. It is a regrettable fact that we have consistently failed to quash the illicit trade with the Xenos. Equally regrettable is that the economic benefits of a largely anonymous forum for trade decoupled from the international relations cannot be denied. I mean, yeah, it's beneficial. I think we voted in, in favor of it. In the coming years, independent traders and government agencies will be looking to establish a quasi-centralized hub for the galactic commerce. The economic gains from playing host to such a nexus might well outweigh the burden of harboring some alien goods, so we can choose to promote one of our worlds for its purpose. Understood. Um, Gruner Prime. Let's build gene clinics. Um... And let's see, society research from jobs. So let's make this a research world. We can build some mining districts here as well. Okay. 
So it looks like we have all of our destroyers and corvettes ready in this fleet and we're just building the cruisers. Which is great news. Once we get 197 more alloys, we can build the next cruiser. Council agenda ready. All right, this is going to give us specialist pop output plus 5% and resources from jobs plus 20 percent wow that's so good um mind over matter gives us tech progress in psionic theory i think we're gonna take this we're gonna delve into psionics we're gonna learn to access the full potential of our minds research complete all right we've got energy grid we can now get an energy nexus, which is the level two version of this, or I'm more interested in antimatter reactor. It's gonna allow us to build more powerful ships. All right, um, let's go to our generator world and let's use this building slot to build an energy grid. This is going to make our technicians produce more energy. Established embassy, the Natraxian Mercantile Union. Sure, you can have an embassy with us. Alright. Let's move our fleet in. I know we're not at full strength yet, but let's see what, what damage we can do against Shard. Alien Federation formed. I'm gonna regret this. Research complete. I'm totally gonna regret this. Unspent civic points. We have a new civic, huh? Okay. Let's reform government. Let's see what we can add. All right, so efficient bureaucracy will um, reduce our bureaucrat upkeep that's not super good. We can have nationalistic zeal. I don't know if that's so good for us. We can have a parliamentary system. I say we we take masterful crafters. What this is going to do is it's going to make our factory world more productive and we're, they're also going to produce trade value. Um, I think this is going to be good for us. Yeah, let's become masterful crafters. It's going to cost us a whole bunch of unity, but it's going to be worth it. Um... This menu looks a little bit bugged out. We have a fifth council position. So let's see what, what options we have here. Oh, it looks like we need to completely redo our council. So we need a head of research. We need a minister of state. Ah, that's actually not that important for us. We need a Lord High Admiral. For sure. We need a Tribune of Rights. Minister of Defense, we definitely need. We need a Tribune of Rights. Um, and then we'll go ahead and unlock that other council position. Uh, our Head of Research. We're going to go ahead and make Zosira Katoon our Head of Research and get access to all of her perks our minister of defense we're gonna have our military ship build speed not that good general let's make this person an admiral let's also make them our minister of defense our lord high admiral can be one of our other commanders here our tribute of rights can be um, our senior official age 84 actually this person has a bunch of counselor effects stability plus four yeah okay we're gonna put this person in 
All right. Um, there we go. That was because we just unlocked a new civic slot. Now we can get, um, hmm. Let's get the bull organic plant. 166 months, that's actually a lot. I don't know if we're ready for that right now. Let's get diplomatic weight plus 10%. All right. Let's go ahead and reinforce this fleet and then let's start moving this fleet towards Jorawar where we can attack Shard. Right, we can upgrade our planetary capital. We can build some more administrative complexes. Let's see, right here. But lacking minerals, wow, I've really spent a lot of minerals, huh? Okay. Colonization in progress. Status quo, peace with Minamar Specialized Industries. Okay. White peace, that's fine. Let's see. Um, I think we outlawed movement into the Borbagon system. Yeah, so let's unrestrict it. Let's move our military fleets in. Here. And then let's attack Shard. See what damage we can do. I'm confident. No, maybe I sh maybe I'm not confident. But I am curious. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, so I want to watch this. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it in slow mode. In cinematic mode. And we can watch this fight ensue. Like we're engaging our lasers. Um, I do want to check up on this and see how we're doing. We're taking down their armor pretty well. We're taking some losses. You know, I think we might have this. I mean, we've already taken down the armor by more than half. We still have um, the full amount of corvettes in both fleets. We've only lost two destroyers from this fleet. Yeah, I think we've got this. Asteroid approaching Zatar 2. Alright, if we want to save these pre-FTLs, we need to go ahead and destroy this asteroid. We will deal with that as soon as we're done with this if battle. We can look at all of our um, corvettes surrounding, surrounding the poor dragon. I think our torpedoes are saving the day here. This has got to count as like a large a large sized ship, so the torpedoes are probably doing their multiplicative damage towards large ships. And we can see in the back we have our carrier cruisers. Did it just die? How are we doing? We've been better. We're not doing terribly. We're onto the hole. Fantastic. Okay, so here are our carrier ships. Here's our MSI warship. Here are our picket ships. Standing back and firing their missiles. I think these must be our destroyers. Space under attack. I can't even tell what kind of attacks it's taking back at us. I 
This fight is sure dragging on a long time. Looks like we're almost done. Screw you, shard. You stole our rubricator. We want it back. Doesn't seem like Shard's doing much. The battle would be cooler if Shard was kind of flying around and like eating our ships or whatnot. The demise of Shard the dragon. The vile old dragon known as Shard has drawn her final breath in a satchel around her neck nestled in the downy fuzz underneath the gnarled scales above her heart hangs the most treasured possession, the Rubricator, a relic ca capable of replicating any artifact it has come in contact with. Wow. We did it. Let's look at the aftermath. We lost five destroyers in one fleet and one cruiser. The other fleet, we only lost two destroyers. That's it. Shard defeated. Let's go ahead and let's check out our... Um, Rubricator. Let's see what this does. Archaeotech weapon damage plus 15%. Society research plus 20. And when we activate it, it generates 500 minor artifacts. Okay. I think I know what our next... Um, I think I know what our next Ascension perk is going to be. It's going to be the Archaeo Engineers. This is going to let us... Um, I think we're going to start outfitting our fleets with a lot of these Archaea technologies because this is going to make them really powerful. Um, plus 15% damage, plus the additional damage from our, um, I think the other one was like plus 10% or plus another 15% damage from Archaea tech weapons. So that's going to be huge for us. Um, we just need to get enough minor artifacts to kind of finance this military, but that's fantastic. Um, okay, uh, this this episode's running a little long. Um, we have to take our fleet. We have to move it into Zatar as quickly as we can to um, take down this asteroid, which is currently heading towards um, heading towards Zatar to destroy the pre-FTL species. So we're gonna go ahead and move our fleet there, and we're gonna end the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope that was exciting. We took down Shard. Now we need to refit our fleet for a more kind of general and balanced approach. And I think we're going to start taking the war to our neighbors. Uh, I think we're done putting up with, with their shenanigans. Uh, yeah, so again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.